Hello everyone, welcome back to South Pole Diecast, I'm Scott. And today, we have another Sweet 16 casting, the Custom Fleet side. And this one is pretty much trashed, or as my friend Jim Silva says, beat to hell. A lot of the paint's missing, it's missing the back bed, which has been broken off from the interior. The wheels are in terrible shape, the axles look bent. That's all right, though. That just makes it more fun to restore it. And we're going to get this back to its brand new shiny self again. And this one was another one I had as a kid. Um, it wasn't really my favorite casting because I really wasn't a truck kid. I was more of a car and race car. But I liked it. I played with it. Mine was in dark green. And... Uh, so I wanted to restore this and add it to my collection of the Sweet 16. So let's get started. Okay, so we got the custom Fleetwood all apart and the windshield is filthy and also has a crack up here out of the way. And I had some bond it with the UV flashlight. So I strengthened that, worked out well. This is dirty and it's also broken. It doesn't have the bed cover there. It's broken off. We got a replacement for that. The chassis or the base is just filthy. Clean that and it's pretty well tarnished as you can see. And then we're also gonna have to get some citrus strip on that to match the car. And then of course the body is just toast. It's just been really well played with. Looks like the person had a rock driveway like I used to have when I played with mine. And the good thing is all the little injectors, there's none of them are broken off. That's a good thing. So we're going to get everything cleaned up and ready to go. So let's move on. So it's that time again, the orange toxic goo to get all this paint off and let it soak for a while. Down, down she goes. And we're going to give her some help. Looks like it's gonna cover pretty good. Okay, so I got the body out of the sister strip, and I've already went over it with the uh, scotch bright wheel on my Dremel tool. So now I got some flits on the body, and I'm going over with my buffing wheel. I'm gonna get that great shine, like chrome, that flits always provides when you use it. I won't show the whole thing here, I'm just doing the hood and the roof right now. And as you can see, it's doing a great job. It's really bringing out the shine. And just take your time and go over it. And you want to use it on the lower speed of your Dremel. You don't want to use it on high because you could burn it. And it's starting to really take shape now as far as the chrome coming through. So we'll do the rest of this. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we got the base in the paint booth, and I've got it taped up to where the back is showing. And that back part of the base actually is painted to match the body. So I'm just putting some light tack coats, and I'll go over with them heavier coats and make it look good. And hopefully it'll match the same color as the body once I get done. Okay, so I got the body polished up the best I could. And now we're here in the paint booth. And now I'm going to shoot it with some Spectre Flame Orange. I'm going to do just a couple tack coats and then let those dry for 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll go back over with a heavier wet coat and get it to match the same color as the base I did earlier.
Okay, so that's looking really good. And this is actually a pretty color. Uh, wasn't really crazy about orange, but the more I see it on the casting, the better I like it. Okay, so moving on. Okay, and here's where we started with the Beat to Hell Custom Fleetwood. So now let's see what I did with it. Okay, and there she is, a fully restored Sweet 16 Custom Fleet side. Um, I'm about 85 to 90% happy with it. Um, could have done a little bit better on the polishing job. And the windshield was kind of cracked a little bit more than what I originally thought after I gauzied it, which that can be replaced later. But I still had a blast doing it. It was one that I had as a kid. And uh, I hope I did it justice. It's still a lot better than when I got it because it was really well played with and missing a lot of paint and the wheels were terrible. So overall, I'm happy with it. And so if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And subscribe because it's always free and we'll see you guys next time.